Yo, welcome back. So we are, we, I say we are, because uh, me and Nick are installing the, my van vault and the false floor, well, not really false floor, just like the wooden floor in the back of a van. I've last night spent hours cutting a bloody, not paper, what do you call it, cardboard cutout. So that was fun, not. Just had a cheeky little Greg's, that's nice. We're gonna go over to Wix's and get some plywood, hard, hardwood plywood, um, 40 quid a sheet, I think it is. But luckily I can put that through my business now because I'm technically self-employed. Let's go and meet Nick, let's get the materials and let's have fun taking in and out the wood about 100 times cutting it. So we're at the unit now, been to Wix's, got the wood. Luckily this van came with this roof rack, otherwise we would have been screwed, wouldn't we? Trying to get the wood here. Um, Nick's here, he's just Found a cable. finding stuff. He thought I robbed some cable, but... No, I didn't. I it was still in here. Uh. Sorry, those two boxes, there's one in at the back. All right. I had to do a call yesterday, I needed some cable, thought I hadn't spun it. Thought I robbed it. Right, we're going for the top one. Oh God, it's wet, isn't it? That's what she said. This is what I was on about my uh, awesome cardboard cutting skills, but we'll fix all this after. This is just to get a rough guide, rough template, mainly around that little archway there. And then that archway there, because in Europe, obviously you have the door on that side, or some of these do have doors on both sides. But we're getting rid of that over there so we don't lose loads of bits down it. So going right up against the ply, I've got some carpet and stuff. I'm not doing that in this video, but I'm gonna carpet all the sides and all that jazz. So a bit overboard for what we need, but just want it to look nice. Better than when I did it, and I wish I said on my video, if I had done a template, this is what it would look like, but yeah, it's gonna be good. It doesn't look like I've done much. However, I've taken out, I said however, everyone's gonna love that. Taken out the cardboard, found the humps. I'll show you in a minute once I've taken a cardboard back out and then got the laser and lasered down the middle of the hump. So that's where we're gonna butt the two bits together. So we're gonna have a bit of ply that side, a bit of ply this side. It's just, we can't do it all in one piece as, yeah, you won't be able to get it in and out of the van because of all like the curvatures and stuff like that. And all the little bits we've got to scribe it around near the bulkhead. So two bits. So I've set the laser up all the way, made a little mark on the cardboard and then lasered it all the way down the middle of the hump where we're going to fix, like do the join and such. Um, but we're going to be self tapering it down into the base, like the chassis as such, the metal supports. So like those bits there, so they're just support beams and then using a bit of CT1 as well, sticking it down to make sure it's definitely not coming up. I don't know why you can see that, but I've marked the uh, pencil line. So that's where we need to cut the cardboard. And what we'll do is we'll cut the cardboard, cut the one below. So I left these overlapping because I didn't know exactly know how we was going to do it. I wanted to get another person's opinion. So Nick said do it this way. So we're going to go for this. But what we're going to do is pull this up. So if I pull this up now and show you, so we're going center of that beam there all the way down. But what we'll do is we'll cut the cardboard first, try it with the cardboard, make sure everything marries up and uh, everything's mint, and then we'll t trace that onto the MDF. And the reason we're waiting a little bit as well is uh, to give that a few more minutes to dry off. Scratch everything I just said. We're not going to try the cardboard first. We're going for it. <laughs> Nick said just go for it, so we're going for it. Yeah, you on the, yeah, yeah. You're putting that so that's on this edge? Yeah. yeah? Finally, it's time I can go. It's all right, it's fine. Not my van. Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You just straight edge these ones, yeah? Oh, uh, bit more? Yeah, just go more. It, it's gonna be wasted as such, that side. Yeah, should we go for that? Give us a tape. So we've marked round, all good, all done. Squared them off a bit, and uh, now's the dreaded moment, whether or not we uh, burn 40 pounds, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm, I'm letting Nick do the honors. See, the difference between you and me, you don't panic, I just do it, and don't worry about it afterwards. <laughs> go, how can I fix this? Is it a good or a bad thing that you do it that way and I do it this way? Probably a bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. We had to move it over to cut along all the way down the middle. And uh, that's what we're using as a counterbalance. And then we've got this big beast. Not Nick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to go for it. We've done the finicky bits around there. Just going to go, well, I say I'm going to go for it. Nick's going to go for it. We can try. Yeah. I'd rather do it with this. It's quicker to do the straight edge than run a jigsaw down it. Well, let's give it a go. Close to the line. Yeah. It's this side of the line anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? We're routing yeah, more off. Yeah. Yeah, so what we were talk what we were talking about is we're just gone that side of the line, which is obviously the excess, and we're routing off a bit anyway. So it doesn't really matter that we've left a bit more. These type of things always leave a bit more than less. That's it done. Doesn't look much difference, but there's the other half. So first try, let's give it a go. We're gonna try and not knock the laser, but 
we have made a mark there and oh, a mark there because that's where uh, it's going to join on the middle. But yeah, let's give it a go. We're going for it. Nick's lifting it in and I'm going to grab it and slide in the door. Sorry. <laughs> Should we just round them corners off? Yeah. Should I'll we just round it. them and round them yeah. and round that? It's a first attempt, a few minor adjustments, which we, we was going to expect. Um, more than likely, we'll do these adjustments and then there'll probably be a few other tiny little ones just to get it looking mint because at the end of the day, well, you're going to see it every day and those little things are going to be driving you mad. That's our cut round now. Obviously, we've still got to finish this edge here, router in it nice, but it's all joining up all the way down there, all the way to Nick, looking good. In this corner, job's good and so we're just setting up the laser. Gonna do some final adjustments. Just do the router in now, the sanding. Yeah. Get this one finished. Yeah, get it finished. Probably blow all this car wall out of the back of the van and then get it fixed. I know someone that's good at blowing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think she lives at your house. <laughs> I've got the router out now. This is all final, final one as such. We're just gonna run the router all the way around this little lip here, and then we're gonna try and router out that very end bit so it sits on that lip perfect so when you come to there's nothing worse when you come to slide something in the back of your van here and you've got a lip and you have to like lift it up it's just a pain so we're gonna try it started to router all of these edges this is the other side if we flipped it over because we're doing the end and uh yeah it's worked mint i've sounded sanded that all down if i'm shouting it's because i've got ear defenders on and I'll, I'll explain now why so we've then decided to change route a bit and I broke the route, the internal yeah. bit of the route just went. Yeah, which is probably kind of our fault for we don't really know what we're doing with that router. How dare you? Well we've used the router once, nearly killed me. Yeah, we did, yeah. And yeah. But so we're just chamfering that off, like I said before, so it sits perfectly flush. This side's sitting flush, but we just need to take a bit more off this edge here. And then it's gonna be mint, but we'll do this and then I'll show you once it's in and eyed up what we're uh, working with. There we have it, it's in. All cut around here, routed all the way around here, routed around that bit, cut around here. So you got literally less than a finger gap all the way around. And then if I come around to the back, I'll just show you what we were talking about. So that just slides on perfect. So it's nice and flush. So when you get to lift stuff on, obviously you got these ridges here, so it'll be runner stuff, the stuff will run a touch higher anyway, but it's all flush. So you can see there, we've just routed out that bit and obviously you won't be able to see it. And when it's screwed down and pinched down a bit more. Yep, so now same thing onto that side. So Nick officially hates me now. <laughs> so these eyelet things, obviously to use to strap stuff down, that one and that one are not usable anymore because the van vaults go in there as such. However, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Got a cheeky however in there as well, everyone's gonna look for that are still going to be accessible in a minute. So we've had, Nick had a genius brainwave. So this arm egg hole cutter, where it cuts like a 103 mil hole, and then you get the plugs. Wait, what? These plug up the hole, and then they have that uh, outer rim that it sits on. So we're going to put them in, and then if I ever need to access one of those, oh, no, sorry, that'll these, sit on there. These are mine. The hole set is just around the corner, mate. Yeah, that's fine. They're only a 20p, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. 20 pound more like. So what we've done is measured from the outer frame, which doesn't change to the center of there. And then from there to there, which is nine centimeters. So it was 15, then nine. And then we've got a little point. So we'll get the drill bit in and whiz that round. Close. Let's see if it works. So that's what we're going for. As you can see, oh, we just touched the hands there, mate. Should we kiss? <laughs> mate, I think we should after that. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Mint. So that is going to... Well, we'll show you in a sec. We'll light up. But we've got to do that one, that one, that one, and this one over there, which Nick's really happy about. I want to go home. So, little screwdriver. Take it out. Oh, mate, we should be geniuses. Well, you should be. Same way. I'll just take the fame. Let's have a little demo run. I'm not actually using this flooring. This is just what it's going to be like. So... We've cut round it, as you can see that's seamless. You can just about see the outline. And then uh, if we peel that off, obviously we won't do it like this, but. And then if we glue so that to that. And then plonk that back in and line up the bubbles. Obviously this is a bit faffy because it's the first time doing it. Yeah, and it'll having, work. you're not having penny washer ones, you're having 
your flat ones. Yeah, so it's going to be even easier. But yeah, you get the gist. So um, that's going to look mint. I need to do this for the video, Adam. No. No. Yeah. There you go. Looks fine for my house. Right. So this is the finish. Nice and routed, nice and smooth. Not getting any splinters. And then if I pull this up, just to pop the plug out. Still usable. Because what you've got to think of as well with the van, obviously I'm having it for the next however long I have it, but then when someone else comes to use it, <laughs> for the next person who has it, they're going to potentially want to use these. So you can say, look, I thought about it. I've done this. So we're on the second bit now. Just need to do some final adjustments. So we'll whip it out, do them final adjustments and uh, sandpaper it and see how we get on. And that's us done. Seamless. Obviously this little trim's a bit out, but once we've not screwed it down or CT1 the actual base down yet. So uh, yeah, but with the plugs idea, we end up doing it under the van vault as well. So when I rip the van vault out, once I'm done with this van, then this is what the next customer will be left with or next user. Too used to saying customer, but that's a user. Job well done. Is my mic died? No, no, you're on, bro. Oh, I'm on. But yeah, so that's it for today. And if you're gonna do this, how long has it taken us? Hours. Four, five hours. Probably five hours, including going and getting that's materials. Two of us. So if you are doing this, take your time with it because it makes such a difference. I spent more time doing Adams than I did mine, and this is better. So <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Take your time, and it'll last. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video. Um, don't forget to do the usual, like, subscribe and all that jazz. And then we'll see you on the next one, Fit in the Van Vault.